Hi, my name's Austin. Welcome to my channel. And we have a lot to discuss in this video because it seems like the world is on fire right now. The market is tanking, inflation is at all time high, and the price of gas has gone to over $5 a gallon where I am. It seems like we are on track to become the first species on planet Earth to price ourselves out of existence. Death by the almighty dollar. And people are looking for ways to save money and I am here, El Agustin, to help you save money because saving money and keeping your expenses low is very simple. The hardest part of doing it is looking past all of the lies that society teaches us that you need this to be happy, that this is a necessity, but there's very little in this world that you actually need and it is very easy to save if you can just look past all the lies of the society. So in this video, I'm going to talk about 25 ways to save money. But before I begin, if you can, and only if you can, please click the like button. It would really help out my channel. I greatly appreciate it, all right? So let's start off with number one, and that is you have to budget. Living life without a budget is like walking into the jungle naked. You might make it, there's a chance, but why would you ever take that chance? You have to sit down and figure out how much money do you have for rent, utilities, food, and everything else, because if you do not do that, you are just living life by chance. It doesn't matter how much money you're making or how little money you're making, you have to create a budget. That's the first thing that you have to do. And the second tip is that you have to track every purchase you make. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you gonna save any money? If you don't know where your money is going, you have to create an Excel sheet or some sort of document so you can track every single purchase you make because then you can see areas where you overspending, where you can save money. This has to be down to the penny because every penny matters. And the third tip is know how much work is costing you. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to work to make money, but work actually costs us a lot of money. If you drive to work, you're spending money on gas, wear and tear in your car. You might be eating out more versus if you worked at home. Figure out how much money it costs for you to work because it might not actually be worth it to keep your job and it might be time to look for another job. Not an easy thing to do, but something to consider. Tip number four is do not underestimate saving $1. One of the biggest problems that people have with saving is they're thinking too big. They're trying to find ways to save hundreds of dollars, but think small. It is much easier to save $1 than it is to save $100. You can save $1 by bringing a reusable bottle instead of buying a plastic one. You can save $1 by bringing your own snacks instead of buying them at a convenience store. And when you do that with every single purchase that you make every single day, it adds up to thousands of dollars throughout the year. Do not underestimate the power of saving $1. And number five is healthcare. Now, I can't speak that much on health insurance because we're all getting ripped off on that field and there's no way around it. But there is one way to save money on your health care, and that is just simply by taking care of yourself. There's a saying that goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But when it comes to health care, it is about 100 pounds of cure. If you do things like exercise every single day, eat healthy, live a less stressful life. You can save a ton of money on healthcare. You're never gonna know how much you save, but you will save tons of money. And number six is Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy is an app that you download on your cell phone that will tell you the cheapest gas prices in your area. And sometimes you can find gas that's 30, 40% cheaper if you just drive a few miles away. And that can save you a lot of money if you do that every single time you fill up. And number seven is Drive Intentionally. Where I live, the price of gas is about $5 a gallon. So every single time I get in my car, I am spending a lot of money. Another way to save money on gas is simply by driving less. And this is a lot easier than you think. You can save money by going to the grocery store one day a week instead of five days a week. You can save money by going to places close to your house. You can save money by working remote if possible. Number eight is food. Well, I actually did a whole video on how to save money on food. So if you want to watch that video, there'll be a link up there somewhere you can click on. I don't need to do that again. So number eight is actually lower your internet speed. Normally internet companies have plans in something called megabits per second. And you can find plans in 25, 50, 100, 1000 megabits per second. 
but having a higher megabits per second doesn't necessarily mean that the internet is faster. What it means is that you can run more devices at once. So if you're not using that many devices, you do not need a high megabits per second speed. So consider lowering your speed and you can save a lot of money and it won't affect your internet quality. And number nine is ditch the internet router fees. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my modem, this is my router. There are many like them, but these ones are mine. One clever trick used by the internet companies is they try to get you to rent their modem router. Where I live, this is $14 a month. If you were doing this, you were just throwing $14 away every single month. Buy your own modem, buy your own router, or buy a modem router, and in four months, you will get all your money back. Please do not rent it from the internet companies because to be honest, theirs are not that good anyways. And number 10 is Usement Mobile. If you live in the United States and you are spending more than $15 a month on your cell phone bill, you are spending too much money. In my opinion, cell phone companies are like gas stations. You just go with the cheapest one because they're all selling the exact same thing. I go with Mint Mobile, which cost me $15 a month for unlimited talk and text and data, which is more than you need. And number 11 is lower your cell phone data. If you do not want to go with Mint Mobile, another way to save money on your cell phone bill is simply just by lowering your data. Unless you are an Uber driver or you need a lot of data for your job, you do not need unlimited data. This is 2022. 95% of the time, you're going to be in a Wi-Fi zone. You do not need unlimited data. I have never went over four gigs of data. And number 12 is look out for installment fees. Sometimes with companies, when you pay month by month, they charge something called installment fees, and you have to be on the lookout for these. I save $60 a year in my car insurance by doing one very simple thing, and that is just by paying in full every six months instead of paying month by month. In doing that, I avoid these $5 installment fees every single month. It's not a lot of money, $60, but I will take $60 a year any single day. So just be on the lookout for installment fees. And number 13 is turn off the lights. My electricity bill is about $30 a month, which is incredibly low. Now, the main reason it's so low is because my place is pretty small. But the other reason it's so low is I just keep all the windows open and I only use lights for about four hours a day when it's dark outside. Something as simple as just turning off the lights and being conscious of the lights can save you a lot of money. Do not leave your house with all the lights on or do not have them on during the day when you do not need them. So turn them off and you can save a lot of money. And number 14 is buy clothes at discount stores. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could not tell, I am not what you would call a fashionista. I save a lot of money in clothes by just going to discount stores like TJ Maxx and Ross or sometimes even the thrift store to buy my clothes. And another way I save money is I honestly just do not care about how I look and what type of clothing I have because my clothing is not an extension of who I am. And number 15 is don't cool down every room in your house. I live in Colorado, so I do not have air conditioning in my house, but I am originally from Georgia where everyone uses the air conditioning. And I have to say, whenever I go back, it is pathetic. It is like everyone is living in a refrigerator. You go from your cold house, your cold car to the cold store. Everyone is denying the natural weather. And air conditioning is important. And don't tell me I don't know about the heat because I am from the South. But embrace the natural weather a little bit and you do not need to cool down every single room in your house. Close the vents in the rooms that you are not in. You can save a lot of money on your air conditioning. And number 16 is gym memberships. Ladies and gentlemen, I spend $10 a month in my gym at Planet Fitness. If you have one of these cheap gyms, go to them. You do not need to spend $200 on a CrossFit gym. Spending more money does not mean you're going to get any healthier. So go to the cheap gyms, all right? And Number 17 is drop the streaming services. There are many streaming services out there like Netflix, Hulu, and HBO Max, and all of these cost money. Even if you are spending $5 on each, that is $5 a month that you could be saving. Drop some of them, keep your favorite one, and go with free streaming services like Tubi, Pluto TV, and YouTube. I can entertain you and I don't ask for anything, just your attention. And number 18 is drop the useless subscriptions. Nowadays, you can get a subscription service for almost anything and it's getting very silly at this point because you can get a subscription to your doorbell. I mean, what is next? If you are concerned about someone stealing your packages off your front doorstep, then your life is pretty good. You should not be spending money on all these useless 
services, even if they're just $3, that is $3 that you should be saving. And at number 19 is stop being soft. 20 years ago, we didn't have grocery delivery, Uber Eats, and all these apps that are based on convenience. And now people are acting like they cannot live without them. And you know what's happened is we have gotten soft. We are weak and we need to toughen up and stop whining and stop chasing convenience all the time and save that money instead. And at number 20 is you save 100% if you do not buy it. Many times you'll see things advertised as 20% off, 30% off, but this is just a marketing strategy. You should not base your decision if you buy something on how much you're saving when you're doing it because you save 100% if you do not buy it. And if you truly need it, then how much it's off shouldn't affect your decision. It's nice if that happens, but it should not affect your decision. And number 21 is consume less. Gas is going up, rent is going up, groceries are going up, supply chains are backed up. The cost of living is increasing, but another reason that the cost of living is increasing is because we are consuming more than we have ever consumed. I cannot help but ask myself, are the supply chains the problem or is consumption the problem? We are consuming more than we have ever consumed and it is very bad for humanity and our planet. So consume less and you will save a lot of money. Do not fall for the tricks that society tells you that getting something nicer will make you a better human because it doesn't. And number 22 is never use payment plans. Payment plans are all the rage right now where if you do not have the money right now, you can pay in five installments with zero interest. And what makes it so appealing is that there is no interest. But if you cannot afford something right now, you're not gonna be able to afford it next week. You should only buy things if you can afford to pay them in cash because if you use a payment plan that is just setting yourself up for failure and setting yourself up to be behind so do not sabotage yourself and number 23 is live below your means if you get a raise or a bonus that does not mean that you should start spending more money and upgrading everything what it means is that you should be saving more money and just start living below your means there's nothing wrong with upgrading but upgrading for the sake of upgrading is not a good idea because then your cost of living gets more expensive and you should not base your spending off your salary and number 24 is do it for yourself if you're gonna buy something nice, like a new phone, a fancy pair of shoes, or a luxury car, ask yourself first, am I doing this for myself, or am I doing this to impress other people? Because if you're doing it to impress other people, the reality is nobody cares what type of car you drive, what type of phone you have, or what shoes you are wearing. I think that the average person is more concerned with themselves. Not to say that people are selfish, but we all have problems, and no one has time to care about what type of car you're driving. So just do it for yourself, there's nothing wrong with luxury but do it for yourself not for other people and number 25 is don't go where the hipsters go they know how to decorate and they know how to make a good cup of coffee but they charge outrageous prices at these hipster places i enjoy getting a cup of coffee from a hipster every single now and then but you do not do it to save money and those are the 25 tips to save money in your life muchas gracias for watching que tengo un buen día my name is austin if you enjoyed this video like subscribe Bye-bye.